Professor O'Loughlin, hi. You can call me Penny Sam. Oh, sorry. What was I happy? Can I come in? Mm. What can I help you with? Roger said you may have been a little deflated after the lecture this afternoon. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't quite the spectacular career debut I envisioned, no. We all have a vivid imagination of how we foresee ourselves as teachers. It's rarely accurate. Yeah, well, you know, not even a fifth of the cohort turned up and I could tell the ones that did were regretting it. Welcome to the three in the afternoon lecture slot. Mm. Sam, I've actually dropped by this afternoon to help you out with your teaching, and if you listen to me, your attendance may even improve a little. Okay. What do you have in mind? I think it would be a good idea if we were to do a self-reflection. I hate those things. The first step in solving any problem is identifying there is one, Sam. Shall we begin? Mm. So this afternoon, how were you feeling as you were going into your first lecture? Nervous. I'm trying to help you here. Okay. I was feeling nervous because it was my first lecture and that made me feel giddy, so that's pro probably why I rushed. <laughs> I was disappointed with the lack of attendance and engagement and... Um, and and? <laughs> I am not looking forward to my tutorials or the next lecture. <sighs> Roger said you showed them the learning outcomes at the start of the lecture, which was great. However, you didn't really explain them. Therefore, you didn't really give them an opportunity to achieve them throughout Yes, either. yes, that, that may be true, but like Roger and I went over them for like a full two hours in the lecture theatre beforehand. I mean, surely that counts for something. Probably did, you know. What was it you were doing? Like preparing, rehearsing and laying out my content and coming up with the basic structure and in those terms I think the lecture went pretty smoothly. Good idea. Mm. So where did it go wrong? <laughs> Nothing I said mattered because they weren't listening anyway. Or maybe they were listening. And they just not, didn't understand what I was saying. But I, I don't think I made much sense in my rambling. <laughs> if you fail to engage them in the first place, they're going to have difficulty achieving the learning outcomes. Oh yeah, that was probably it then. Well, yeah, yeah. I could have involved them in the lecture more, you know, asked more questions. But the one I did ask was com completely greeted with silence. It was so embarrassing. Sam, the point of asking questions is to start a discussion, provoke debate. Not to extract a formulaic answer they've written on their hands. Mm. Did you try to get your students to share and interact with each other and yourself? No. So are you familiar with Think, Pair, Share? Are they a terrible cover band of earth, wind, fire? No? Okay, right, so that would make it the learning activity where students get together in pairs and they, you know, express their thoughts and ideas together. So you are familiar with it? Well, it's a pretty obvious title, Penny. It's a work in progress. Okay, tell you what. Next time I'll make a lesson plan that takes time into account and relevance of the subject matter and th uh, the... Um... Group norms? Group norms, yes. That's it. And I'll aim to encourage active learning by developing strategies that will engage the students. And I'll, I'll, I'll have some like questions and activities in reserve just in case we run under time. And I'll ask loaded, open-ended questions. And I'll slow down when I speak and articulate what I mean. And yes, yes, not so much text on the PowerPoint slides, I get it. Yes. But you'll also seek to understand your students, who they are, what they know, what they do and don't understand, the whole picture. Involve them with your content rather than just telling them about it is the golden rule, as is recognising and learning from your mistakes. Mm. I mean this sincerely, Sam, when I tell you you're an absolute natural at this. And once you're comfortable and have a few more lectures under your belt, you'll be fine. Okay. Thanks, Benny. Now, you do realise you're supposed to have been writing all this down. Oh. <laughs>